Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 15, and the last two verses in the chapter, verse 31 and 32, the end of the parable of the lost son, actually maybe the lost older brother, and maybe even better to be named the love of the father. But let's read it. And he said to him, this is the father responding now to the anger of the older brother. And he said to him, son, you are always with me and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad for your brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found. So, you know, the father's character is perfect as it is. There's no way to improve upon it. His love and compassion is just the way they are. No way to improve upon it. Did you notice here what he says to his, his older son? Son, you are always with me and all that I have is yours. And that's the father is glad to give us all that he has. He's going to share his throne with us. I mean, but he knows what he's doing. You and I, we, we, we wouldn't do that. But the father will do that. He, he's, in, he's created us. He wants us to be added to his family. There's so much here for us. And yet we are so slow to be ready with the kingdom. Oh, friend, I hope you'll be in the kingdom today. I hope you'll find uh, this picture of the father. All that I have is yours. All that the Father has for us, it's ready. You know, what are we waiting for? Why aren't we living the Christian life? Why aren't we telling others? Why did the Father receive the Son the way he did? Because it was the right thing. The Son repented. The Father just would ask that he would return. The, the Son admitted his sin. The Father would ask that we would admit our sin. He actually came to himself. He actually transformed. He actually repented. While well, the Father just asked that we would transform and repent. Not in our own strength, what can we do? But by God's help, we can do it. It can happen in us if we just submit to God and let him and cooperate with him and let him do it. So we, we our part is to cooperate, to let our will be combined with the divine will, our weakness with his strength. What's wrong with that? So here's the picture. And as we look at this parable, we spent a few days with this now, almost two weeks on it. Maybe, I hope, though, you find, though, that it was worth it as we begin to look at the Father's response all the way through, the Father is leading, the Father's compassion is the prominent peace. Oh, I want to have that right affection, still justice, justice, still fair, but to do what's right, even though it's inconvenient, even though I'd rather, you know, join in and we can punch this guy a little bit and, you know, knock some sense into him. Even though that might be an inclination somehow you might have or I might have, may God change those kind of inclinations and help us so that our hearts are ready for his kingdom. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this uh, telling about the love of the father. Yes, the prodigal son. Yes, the older brother. Helping us understand what you are like. That has been our great prophet. Now bless us, we pray, as we seek to serve you well. In Jesus' name. See me tomorrow morning as we go over into chapter 16. And may the Lord bless you.